Hey Al. Um, as I've been walking, I've been talking to the Lord, and this has came to me, and the really deep perspective of when somebody offends us. There may be an instance in one's life somebody might have said something or neglected you or maybe stole from you or lied to you or something. And God wants us to take all of our cares to Him. All of them. He had said for us to take on His yoke for its light and let Him carry our burdens. I know sometimes a few people when they've been offended and they talk about it and they just they go on about it and they they won't drop it no matter what and I it may be there had been times that I would try to change the subject and try to talk about something different or of a happier note and they would just continue to go on and and by doing that when you continue to drill and talk about a situation that troubled you you're continuing to allow strife and anger and heartache to stay and to even build up and get worse it gets to a point that it eats you up alive and And so oftentimes something will get embedded in our mind and we may go on about it. But what God wants us to talk to Him about it. He wants us to give it over to Him and let Him calm us down and soothe our souls. Let Him take care of the situation however it may be that he needs to do. It can truly cause so much, almost to the point of not sleeping, or having a stomach ache, or shaking all over from the nerves. Or even snapping at other people because you're not letting it go you're not giving it over to God and let God take care of it let God carry it for you I know quite a few people like that it's like for some they love that feeling I don't know what it is or maybe they just don't know how to let it go I don't know but it's not worth letting it drive you to the point that you're miserable 
when God is the solution to all that agony. Yeah, it is painful. It's so very painful. Someone lies to you or neglects you or ignores you or says something hateful to you or maybe even just something that's so innocent and you take it wrong. We're all easy to do that. You know, something might be said or done and it's an innocent gesture or saying and we just take it out of context take it wrong and dwell on that even. But we need to learn to immediately give it over to God, no matter what. And sometimes, and this is me personally, if I've took something out of misunderstanding and I talk to God about it, He reveals to me enlightenment of just how innocent it was and what truly it was about and then that makes me feel bad for how I may have responded but we do need to learn to just give it all over to him when we feel offended about anything instead of drilling on it and letting it become sour and that we just we find ourselves bitter and angry we need to immediately give it over to God let God handle it let God carry it and let God soothe our souls calm us down and cry at us and in doing so, it will put us back into better spirits. We might be quiet, kind of solemn, but at least we won't be at the point that we may end up doing something that we regret or saying something. God did say that you can be angry, but he said don't sin through your anger. So in other words, don't be foolish. If you get angry, okay. But he also said to forgive. And he said to forgive 70 times 7. Do the math. That's not in a lifetime, that's per day. That's a lot. So, yeah, we become offended. Say it makes us angry, if not hurt. Don't sin. Don't say something you'll regret. Don't do something you'll regret. Don't misbehave later. Hand your anger over to God. Let Him calm you down. Let him make things better for you. Because in the end, it still comes right down to you. Right? We can't control how somebody else may behave or do or say or whatever to someone else. But in the end, it still comes down to what do you do? What do you say? How do you behave? We need just immediately give it to God and let Him take care of it. Let it be. Let it be. Move on and thank God for taking care of it. Let it be. I hope this has helped somebody and that I just want you to know 
God cares about every little single thing. Everything. Anything and everything that concerns us. He cares. He really does. And sometimes when you've got a question, He'll answer you with His Scripture. Even before you begin to ask it. Anyway, I appreciate you viewing. And if you would, please subscribe and follow me. So that you can continue seeing any other content that I may put out. I would greatly appreciate it. And I love all of you, and I do. I truly thank you so much for watching and viewing. I'll see you on the next video. You all have a great day. And don't forget, give it over to God. He cares.